what's going on what's going on this is dennis smith you are watching the alternate timeline and uh welcome back welcome back it's been a minute uh this is anime reactions this is part of the anime reactions playlist segment we got going on um we finished blue lock that was a great great season uh first season of blue lock is done finished that maybe two weeks ago and then you know i'm looking for new shows to react to uh demon slayer is coming out this weekend um by the time this video comes out it may be out already uh we will be reacting to demon slayer we will be reacting to that new arc for sure um but there was something else that that came up that kind of piqued my interest a little bit and i wanted to get into it i actually watched the first episode already of hell's paradise i watched it and i was intrigued by it i don't know too much about it again like i don't read the manga or anything but um you know i was intrigued by it and i was like this could be interesting the, the animation looks really good um it, it captured me the first episode so um i'm going to give it a try and, and see how how we like it i'm going to react to Hell's Paradise as well. Um, I think those come out on Saturday and Demon Slayer comes out on Sunday. So we'll be having two things we're reacting to right now. Um, yeah, really, really like the first episode. And so this won't be a, a raw reaction. It's not gonna be the first reaction like raw, like just now seeing it. Nah, it's, I've already seen it, but I would like to go over it again and uh, kind of understand it better and, and maybe pick on pick up on some things that I missed or something like that but um yeah we're gonna I'm gonna watch the first episode again here and then the second episode will be out very soon and I'll react to that uh, as well so um you'll have this first episode and the second episode will be like back to back you'll be able to to back to back this thing if you want to also for all of my videos I, I break them down into chapters so if um you know this is the intro part if you want to skip ahead straight to the reaction you can do that with most of my reactions uh, if you want to skip to the outro or whatever just me talking about it at the end or whatever you can uh you can do that so you don't always have to listen to my intros you can just go right to the reactions on the little tracker thing down below and um yeah be on the lookout for that on all of my videos okay so you can go right to the reaction um before i get into it uh, please, 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 if you would, uh, super smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for me. If you have not already, we're doing these reactions. I drop other videos here and there too. Got collabs I'm working on. I'm, I'm editing a couple, a couple of videos right now. So I got some things in the works. Uh, just content, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Like I had a recent Marvel discussion with a another creator out there uh, named Jalen and you know we get into all the recent marvel news uh i recently just did another collab with a friend of mine his name is galen so i know i did one with jalen and now i have galen as well and he's my star wars expert so i like to bring him on the show to get his perspective and his takes on what's going on in star wars watching the mandalorian so we have a mandalorian breakdown slash discussion coming out should be out this weekend as well be on the lookout for that so yeah man got got some things got some things out and those are also both going to be on the podcast as well you can tune in if you don't want to watch it on youtube you can watch it on the podcast uh, we're up on apple we're up on spotify those links are down below in the description below so uh yeah just be on the lookout we got some things coming got some things coming and, and i'm excited for it and the youtube is growing man the youtube family is growing and and i'm happy about it uh it's, it's, it's lovely. I appreciate everybody for tuning in and you know, commenting. I like people to get involved and stuff like that. It's it's a great thing. You never know what it could lead to. You know, for an example, my collab with Jalen on the Marvel stuff. We I didn't know him at all You know until recently. Uh, he was in a couple of my live streams. I go live every Sunday as well. Uh, he was he's been in a couple of my live streams and you know, he was talking Marvel and I, I could tell he knew what he was talking about and seemed like a good kid. He started his own channel. Um, 
you know, he's got a lot of figures and stuff like that. So he does some unboxing right there. Um, and he does another segment with theories and stuff like that. So definitely give him a follow. Jay Marvelous. Uh, I have him down below as well. But, you know, I didn't know him very well, you know, before this. And then we just kind of communicated a little bit. I was like, yo, we need to collab. And we did a collaboration. And he was on my channel. And, you know, it's a video that's that's uh, doing well. So you never know what could happen anything it can lead to whatever i like to do collabs i like to support people and lift people up that's kind of what my channel is about um so you know hit me up hit me up i i like to geek out about anything man and right now i'm in an anime mood so i'm going to be watching hell's paradise enough of this intro let's get into it a little bit um just you know since i've already seen the first episode um i guess i'll go over i guess a little preview of what the that anime is about uh it's gabby morrow's the main character His name is gabby morrow um the hollow is what he's called the hollow is one of the most vicious assassins ever to come out of the ninja village of iwagakure um he's ruthlessly efficient but a betrayal re results in him being handed a death sentence he has only one hope in order to earn his freedom he must travel to a long hidden island and recover an elixir that will make the shogun immortal failure is not an option on this island uh, heaven and hell are just a hair's breadth away so yeah that's kind of like the preview for what this series is about um guys nicknamed the hollow um you know he's he kind of goes about life like he doesn't care he's a very ruthless assassin like they said and um they try to they try to we'll get into it in this episode but they try to do a lot of things to him and he can take it all and you know after watching the first episode what i can say is i'm interested to see his power like i understand his motivations now like get you know what he uh holds important to him and you know i'm just interested in like the powers and like how he's able to do what he does so you know enough of me talking let's jump right into it man i'm a Pull this up. Or at least I thought I was going to pull it up. Now what's up? All right, let's get busy. Mappa. If that means anything to anybody, it's Mappa. <laughs> Blood on the flowers, you know how it go. Beheading requires a high degree of skill. The neck, which is composed of strong bones and more than 10 layers of muscles, is not easily severed. This is a cold opening though. Because they got you gassed up like, like something crazy is happening. Any last words? Nah, I'm good. Huh. They talking like he's actually going through <laughs> with the sword. So already, already that had me like, okay, what is this guy capable of? What is that? You know what I'm saying? Why was he able to just break a sword with his neck? Or why was the sword broken when it made contact with his neck um yeah i'm already interested in like what kind of power is that what allows him to to do that but definitely a cold opening right like he you know they playing it like like the neck got bones all kinds of layers and it may take you know more than one hit to like actually cut somebody's head off and the way they was playing it like that like he was struggling to cut somebody's head off but turns out you can't cut this dude's head <laughs> So I thought it was a pretty cold opener. Look at the eyes. Why? Why can't I die? I have no attachment to life. Killed countless people. I don't expect to live a long life. So yeah, he's a, I mean, cold assassin. Cold assassin. But I did watch it the first time through, and I was like, okay. 
I was like, all right. You don't see what it do, what it do. Your name is Gabi Maru. Born a shinobi in the village of Iwagakure. You studied only assassination techniques since you were a child. Breaking a blade with your own flesh is a simple task. Someone that shitty with a sword can't hurt me. He said I didn't even use ninjutsu. So ninjutsu is a thing in this. <laughs> That's a thing in this. We've heard that word before. She asked him to show show her some ninjutsu. Then they tried burning this man. And it's funny because this whole episode they're explaining like all these ways you can brutally like torture someone or uh, execute somebody like that. And obviously, he's the main character withstanding it all. Then they show it like they they're showing people being burnt. I like the music too in the background. And they call it Zen Shakuhachi. Some real Shakuhachi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And the type of uh the type of instrument they be playing, or the type of music they play. Shakuhachi. I think that's what it's called. He said, I'm not trying to resist. If anything, I wish you'd kill me. She says, I see. Well, I was only told they were killed by the village chief when I was a baby. And they killed him. They killed his parents right in front of him. I don't know why and I don't have any feelings about it. Dreams don't have any. Shinobi don't have any great purpose. They just kill as they're told. So he was caught trying to leave the village. The village don't allow anyone to leave. She asked him, why did you try to leave the village in the first place? Now they talking about an execution with a bull. Two bulls. Look at this, man. 950 kilograms of force. Look how they show it, too. That's wild. That's wild. They set him on fire to run. See, but right there, that's when I first noticed, like, okay, he did something there. He not just, like, sitting there. He tightened his, his feet. His feet tightened up. And he, he grabbed. He held on right there. So that was a little bit of resistance. If you ask me. Look how strong he is. He pulled the bulls back together. Bring more bulls. Despite you saying you want to be killed, it seems to me as though you were resisting, right? Who cares about the record? She's like, she said, I'm working. I'm working. Uh-oh. I had the chief's recognition and married his daughter. So he married the, da the, the daughter of the chief. She was a carefree, naive, and sheltered girl. She turned my life upside down. I was totally bewildered and I got fed up with her. I didn't want to lose my edge. And that's him explaining to the dad, I can't do this no more. <laughs> He had him do one last job. He set him up. It was stupid of me to defy the chief in the first place. So I gave up. I mean, his other name. Yeah, he's serious. A monster who killed 20 men when he was arrested. Lord have mercy. Rumor is the shinobi of Iwagakure consume an elixir of life. The medicine of immortality that comes from Shinsenko. Shinsenkyo. Why would a hollow man fight back so hard that he killed 20 people? She breaking them down. She reading them. Despite saying you want to be killed, it seems to me as though you were resisting. Oh, he's thinking about what she said. 
And he goes, she was right. What am I doing? And then this is when they, they show some shit. That's when they show resistant. Look at that. Look how he can make his neck like that. How he can make his neck like that. That's crazy. This dude walked, walked out of being on fire. Death by boiling. I mean, this looks just, this just looks crazy. Looking like a madman possessed. Damn it, why won't you die? Oh, she closed the book. Sir, the arrangements have been made. I'm ready to start at any time. That was the moment I was like, oh. What does she mean by that? <laughs> what does she mean by that? So they walk him somewhere. He said, what kind of execution is this? He said, honestly, I'm getting tired of this. Dude said, this will shut you up. Nah, this one gets crazy. She just sitting there. She's no mere inspector. Ooh, she's a sword tester sent here from Edo, from the Edo. The executioner Yamada Sagiri. She's a problem. Her family name, like her family, have served as sword testers and executioners for generations. They serious. It runs in the family. <laughs> and beheading criminals. They have charged me with your execution. You said you wanted someone to kill you. I shall grant you your wish. Ooh. <laughs> you felt that. She's the real deal. Which, again, again, why was he able to, like, see that and feel that? That's got to be part of his power. Like, foresight kind of thing. Like, a, like an option. He's he's able to foresee like one reality or something like that. Maybe I'm just guessing. I'm guessing here on some powers, but maybe one of his powers is to be able to like see, you know, a reality play out, or see what kind of options there are or something like that. Because he definitely saw that and then reacted like that had happened. And that's that's interesting. You know, speak. You know, it's a shinobi. Uh, series here it's a shinobi show and you know the only i try to compare it to the other shinobi show which was my first love in naruto whereas like my comparison here would be you know when naruto is able to do the shadow clones um his shadow clones can feel what or he can feel what his shadow clones feel right so it's almost kind of i wouldn't say it's similar but um he can feel whatever he you know is able to see there like whatever foresight he can he he sees um he can feel it that's what it's what it seems like to me but we'll see she's the real deal breaks out of this stuff kill him quickly at once Ooh, look how quick she is bro can move though why did you evade my blow you would have died and moved on he said, could I have died? He bleeding too. She's serious. Do I not want to die? I've been present during the final moments of many. A person's true nature is reflected in the blade. Some put up a brave act until just before their, their death. Some desperately beg for mercy. And some lie to themselves and claim that they have accepted death. Eee! Got his face on the blade. Sheesh. I just kind of like how they're setting it up. Like, this is a shinobi uh, assassin show right now. But they're kind of giving you story. They're giving you some... This is this first episode was very... Um, you know, it's a storytelling episode. Which is kind of cool. And they're going to get into more here in a little bit. They're basically dissecting our main character here. Which is kind of cool. I like that. And I like how it's not even, it's I like the way it's told. I like the way that, you know, he's kind of telling you about himself, but then 
you know, this lady here is also figuring him out, like reading him like a book, basically. And we're getting to know him through, you know, him and her being able to just, you know, read him, which I kind of I kind of like how that that is playing out I like that, that setup. She said, you do have an attachment to life. No, you love your wife. Uh oh, she don't figure it out. Look at his face. To you, is she not your reason to live? Ah! Pray once a day. Say thanks for the meal. You should always try to be ordinary. Oh, piss now. Grabbed homeboy's sword. That was quick. So I'm saying, man, what kind of what kind of powers we got here, man? That was quick. Bro reacted way too late. Way too late. <laughs> What's going on here? But she done pushed the right buttons. You saw that she pushed the right buttons. So you do have a reason to live, and it's your wife. And then they turned that sort that story that they were telling before about how he. You know, doesn't want to be with her or whatever. She just wasn't his style. They turned that story to like she's almost too good for him kind of thing. You know, she was teaching him all this, just how to live life and be, you know, just a regular person. And it seems like, you know, she's his comfort, but like almost too much that he like walked out on it. You now we'll see. We'll see. There's more to that, I'm sure. But he's hot and bothered now. Why do you lie to yourself? You couldn't die during your executions because of your feelings for her. So yeah, he was down on himself and... As you can see, she's got some imperfections as well. She got the scar on her face. And she's just like thankful to him that you know he wasn't repulsed by you know that, so... Um, you know, he's sitting there being down on himself like I'm just, you know, I'm an assassin I bring a lot of ugly and terrible to your life and all that kind of stuff so that's probably why he you know probably dipped out on her but um, you know he sees the good in her and he sees you know past her scar and that's kind of why they were good together my father burned it so I'd give up on trying to live like an ordinary woman but people's hearts don't die so easily <laughs> <laughs> Flustered. Look how much you're blushing. Someone like you couldn't possibly be hollow, yeah. Oh, who he trying to convince himself? He got Bimaru to hollow. But leave him alone. Now he's going at it. Try as you might, I can never be human. And then this is when he like came home bloodied and everything he saw her face that's when he knew said i'll quit making a living by killing people the two of us will live a quiet life and he said it's what's best for his daughter the chief will understand yeah so that's how the story played out oh official pardon not only does it dismiss all charges, but it even grants you the Shogun's protection. With this, neither of the Magistrate's office nor the village's shinobi can harden you. But it comes with the condition. You will go to the underworld. You mean the other side? Yup. Are you telling me to die? Nope. There is a land brimming with fertility and joy where there is no pain. Shinsenkyo. Believed in since ancient times, people have called it paradise, the other side, and heaven. So it's like a heaven and hell kind of thing. They said it's finally been found. Butterflies and flowers dance, beautiful voices can be heard singing. Immortality granting elixir. So they'd be sending search parties out there to, to go grab this elixir. However, this is when it gets creepy. The boat be coming back to the docks, looking crazy. The music is haunting too. Look at that. 
Five more expeditions were sent, but no one returned. Except for the things they became. Yeah, that's crazy. He said, what kind of story is that? Sounds like a fairy tale. Everybody believed it was a fairy tale until they saw that. Humans became flowers. Choose expendable people. That's what so yeah, the, the the guy in charge is like choose expendable people for the next expedition. So this is basically what they're saying. They're recruiting Gabimaru to go handle this. <laughs> you're expendable. You can come back. If you come back, you're pardoned. Right? But he gotta go do this. And it's almost like some suicide squad stuff, like you know, we're gonna send you out there, but it's dangerous. If you make it, you good, but the chances <laughs> are not on your side. But he's skilled enough. He's skilled enough to to handle whatever comes at him. But we'll we'll see. So that's what that's what has me interested in this whole show in the first place. I'm like, okay, the powers, like, what is Gabimaru capable of? You know, obviously they went and got him, right? Um, and they they chose him. They broke him down. They chose him for this mission. But in like this other land out there, this other world where they're hope they're hoping is an elixir out there. Um, but people coming back dead and looking like flowers, or like they've been turning into flowers this whole time. Um, what's crazy is the boat came back. <laughs> Something sent the boat back, is what I'm saying. Whoever brings back the elixir of life will be pardoned. I came here looking for potential candidates. Someone with skill and a fierce desire to live. So damn, look, so it goes from, you know, he got no desire to live, but she like breaking him down and, you know, they're executing him. It's extreme, right? It's extreme. They're trying to execute this guy. And what a crazy way to, to find someone that has a strong desire to live is through all these executions he's living right like he's surviving it not only surviving it like he's without any problems so he definitely has a strong desire to live which uh which sagiri i think her name is got to the bottom of that and that's why he's a potential candidate interesting right like, i think that's super interesting the way this episode played out so that's why i'm interested in seeing what, what happens next on my way here, I heard your wife is still in Iwagakure. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Iwa, Iwagakure? Since the day you were captured, she closed herself off and hasn't spoke, spoken to anyone. She must believe you will return. Uh-oh. I'll ask you again. Do you have any attachment to life? Traveling to a mysterious land with heinous dangers, condemned to death and competing with them for a pardon. Is the only way to be reunited with her. Ooh. Will you risk that? For a real life. For a life with her, Gabimaru the Hollow. He said, I'm not releasing him over some nonsense. So she's she's not really working with them. The Shogunate has commanded it. Hmm. He's merely a man condemned to death. They're are plenty more like him. If you interfere, you'll go down with him, right? So now they're surrounding him. And this is when it's like, he starts crying, got the music. I love this right here. You said you wanted to see ninjutsu. Mm? Like what? Like what is this? If this will do, then watch this. Ninpo, what was that? Ninpo, ascetic blaze. Ninpo, ascetic blaze. You know what this reminds me of? When, it, Especially when he said Ninpo. It reminds me of uh, if you've ever played Ninja Gaiden. Any of the Ninja Gaiden uh, games. You can use Ninpo. Like, you're a ninja. You're a whole shinobi, right? Uh, you got all the sword training. All these you know, magical elements going on. But then he can also use, like, Ninpo. Um... That's what they were called, like from the scrolls. You could also use those. So that name just kind of reminded me of, you know, him calling it Nimpo. Kind of reminded me of the game. But yeah, he's setting himself ablaze right now, and it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I mean, 
Yeah. They burned the whole thing down. Him on top like that. Yeah. Like, what is this dude capable of? She said, impressive. I'll do it. I'll find this elixir of life. Now he's like, he's out of his funk and he's, he's now this person that, you know, he's got life. He's got a reason to live, you know? So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. We're going to see a motivated dude. A motivated Gabimaro. He going to make it back for his wife. For you. Next episode. That's episode, man. Like, I was intrigued, but I liked the way that episode played out. Yeah, she she broke him down, read him like a book, you know, brought this, you know, what we saw at the ending, the Gabi Maru that we saw at the ending, brought that out of him. And now I'm intrigued. And dude's got ninjutsu. So <laughs> we're we're here for it. We're here for all kinds of shinobi activity, people. So you know, they make you, I like, I just like the way they, they wrote that. Like they make you think one way and then, you know, it's, it's something else. Like they make you think that this guy is just impenetrable, right? He can't die, but it's actually him resisting. They make you think that he walked out on his wife because, uh, you know, he found her annoying or whatever, like just not his type, but it turns out that he just thinks that he's, you know, not good enough for her. He doesn't want to doesn't want her to see him as this killer like that you know he saw that face when he brought back like his count or his kill or whatever um so he that's when he decided you know i can't do this no more i gotta I gotta leave your daughter um but they capture him whatever and you know he, they're trying to execute him and and you know the rest is history we got our girl sagiri i think yamada is the is the family name come from a long line of executioners and stuff like that she's really good at what she does i love that I like like even there that story like she, they play her off like she's a just somebody that's you know digging into his past or just doing research or something like that and uh she's really just figuring him out and well she was initially figuring him out for a kill that seems to be like how she executes right like that's how she does her executions but, you know, again, even then, they can play you like, okay, he's she's going to try to kill him. They have this battle, uh, and then she pulls out the script. Like, <laughs> you know, you you have a pardon. So, if you can go to the land and get this uh, magical elixir, you know, you'll be pardoned, right? So, a lot of, like, here's this thing, but it's actually this. Here's this, actually this. They did, like, three or four times during the episode. Which I kind of like the way they did it, man. It's a, uh, I think that was pretty cool, pretty solid, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready to react to the second episode. So shouldn't be too much longer uh, today. As I'm recording this, it is Friday night, so the new episode comes out Saturday. It'll be tomorrow. I will react to it tomorrow. Get it out maybe Saturday night or Sunday morning. So. Got that, and then Demon Slayer Sunday. Look for that Sunday night or Monday morning as well, depending on what I do with the rest of my evenings. But um, yeah, I'm intrigued by this show, Hell's Paradise. We're gonna see where it takes us. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be strapped in. We're gonna see. So uh, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, my name is Dennis Smith. This is the Alternate Timeline. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be on the lookout for the episode two reaction of Hell's Paradise. And let's see where this takes us. Let's see where this journey takes us. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.